Man, I love that tree. Well, hey guys, and welcome back. So I'm back in Oregon. That was a quick trip to Texas, but as you saw, I got the uh, Airstream set up. We're in a good spot and uh, we'll be headed back down there together uh, at the end of the year. So about another six weeks or so, and uh, we'll be back to Texas and that'll uh, initiate our, our move and domiciling in Texas. So anyhow, like I said, I'm back here in Oregon. I'm at the Homestead property right now, and uh, I've got to make some preparations for this ultimate move down there over the next few weeks. So one of the things I need to do is actually uh, move the tractor, and I'm gonna move the tractor to the house in town and hopefully uh, find room to store it in the garage at the house in town. Uh, so. I've got to figure that out this week. I'm going to hopefully uh, borrow a uh, flatbed trailer from a buddy of mine, uh, Bruce, who you guys uh, met in the logging video. So uh, hopefully we can put that together over the next few weeks and uh, uh, get the tractor transported to the bottom of the driveway in town. And then I can drive the tractor up the driveway and like I said, hopefully store it in the garage. I've also got to move the trailer. You know, I've got Jeffrey, my motorcycle, stored in the trailer, uh, as well as the boat uh, off the property. Again, I want to prepare the property so that should it go under contract while we're in Texas, uh, you know, we can close long distance and I don't have to worry about coming back to move uh, these implements off the property. So uh, I will also store these back at the house as well. We've got, you know, enough room at the top of the driveway uh, to do that. Yeah, so winter is coming. Uh, the leaves are falling, the apples are off the trees, and uh, there's a definite chill in the air. I'd say it's in the 40s right now. So I love this time of the year as far as the cold is concerned. I don't care for the rain that much, but uh, I do enjoy the chill. So yeah, pretty good wind chill in the air as well. So that's making it feel colder than it probably actually is. But anyhow, um, the only thing I really have left to do here at the property is I've got my routine maintenance with the well house here. You know, I clean the, uh, the ozone filter inside the tank there about every 60 days or so. So I'll get that done. And then other than that, I should be in pretty good shape for the winter time here at the Homestead property. Uh, again, everything stopped growing uh, and uh, there's not much to do as far as, you know, landscape work so should be pretty good to go So guys, another thing I like about uh, wintertime is it's fireplace season. Lisa and I love to build a fire here in the fireplace at the house. Um, I've got to get it cleaned out from last year. A lot of ash still in there and some uh, unburnt logs and so forth. So going to go ahead and get that cleaned out and get ready for uh, having our first fire of the season, which might be tonight. What do you think, hon? 
the first fire of the season. Pretty great. Pretty great. to get this place organized. I know I've been talking about it for months now. Um, I gotta get it done. So guys, check this out. You know, for the Airstream, we need to have a vacuum. And uh, for the last uh, probably three or four years, we've been using this, you know, these handheld vacuums. Uh, that you kind of hang on the wall to charge. Anyway, you know, they're pretty limited as far as their ability to get into tight spaces. So I decided to pick up this Milwaukee uh, portable vacuum. It's battery powered, uh, like my other Milwaukee tools. I'm, I've been real happy with the Milwaukee battery powered tools, but check this thing out. So yeah, it kind of opens up on top here. You've got a nice uh, flexible hose with attachments. So this is cool. You can get into, you know, tight crevices, tight spaces, um, which are all over the Airstream. This is kind of a broader uh, sweep piece that you can use to, uh, you know, do the floor and so forth. But I love the quality of this, uh, of this hose. It's heavy duty, flexible. So you just put your battery in here and uh, Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's got great suction. That'll work out real well. And then, uh, you know, it just folds back in there like that. And then when you want to dump it out, you lift the bottom piece off and uh, there we go. So you got your filter here and then all of the debris just goes in this uh, bucket piece here. So real convenient, it's lightweight, um, not very large. I can store it, you know, I'll probably store it in the truck, but there is room under the bed in the Airstream. I could store it there as well. So good, uh, good call. It's the Milwaukee with the M18 battery and uh, that's going to work out great. Hey guys, so just a quick video this week. Um, sorry about that, but I uh, just want to let you guys know that, uh, you know, I made it back okay. And uh, it's been raining here for most of the week. Had a couple of nice days a couple of days ago. Actually, yesterday it was really nice. But uh, I'm putting together my list of projects to get done between now and the end of the year when Lisa and I take off for Texas. So not much going on this week, and that's why the video is so short. And I'm sorry for that, but uh, anyway, appreciate you guys watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'll look forward to seeing you next time.